Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. ATAGS, the artillery loved by almost every Indian but still failing to prove on the parameters of Indian Army. Is it going to meet the fate of Arjun Tank? Is foreign lobby trying to sabotage the trials? Is Indian Army being too tough on test parameters? These are a few questions that we all have for which we are never going to get black and white answers. As you all know that ATAGS had successfully completed its trial in the high altitude with harshest condition and has now moved into desert for hot weather trials. It was tested at an altitude of 13,000 feet in Sikkim, a new world record which no other 155mm gun has reached. Its summer trial is also complete now and has failed on a few parameters. But some media house, a very popular one, went ahead and quoted it failed on all parameters, which is hilarious. Now, let's listen to what Indian Army has to say on this. As per Lieutenant General TK Chawla, Director General Artillery, a lot of hand-holding has been done by Army both for ATAGS and Dhanush. I had detailed discussion last week with OFB and ARD, said Lieutenant General Chawla. We have mutually come to agree on where the requirement is. He also said that Army wants both the programs to succeed. The two programs he is referring to is ATAGS and Dhanush. The ATAGS program started back in 2013. Even after 8 years, we are agreeing on requirements, which means there is something fundamentally wrong with our defense tech development process. Indian Army has to be part of each and every stage of the development process to ensure their requirements are met followed by testing to validate the quality parameters under different conditions. This approach definitely needs overhauling. Left General Chawla said that the summer trial this year of ATGS had failed to achieve certain parameters and would undergo further modification. There are some parameters which have been achieved and there are some parameters which need improvement both in firing and non-firing parameters. It's difficult to give a timeline for the possible induction of ATAGS into the army. In summary, there is no committed timeline for the induction of ATAGS, the gun which Indian army needs badly and DRDO will be working on its own pace for further development and modifications. This is where again government should intervene and ensure there is a timeline agreed within which both development and testing needs to be completed. If we compare ATAGS and ethos, in burst mode, the rate of fire of ATAGS is 6 rounds in 30 seconds and that of Athos is 3 rounds in 30 seconds. In intense mode, the rate of fire of ATAGS is 15 rounds in 3 minutes and that of Athos is 12 rounds in 3 minutes. In sustained mode, the rate of fire of ATAGS is 60 rounds in 1 hour and that of Athos is 42 rounds in 1 hour. Athos has a maximum range of 40 km and same is being reported by DRDO's ATAGS. However, back in 2017, during a trial, it broke the world record of 155mm gun by firing to a distance of 47.2 km. It again broke its record by registering a firing distance of 48.074 km. Looking at these parameters, it's quite evident that the ATAGS is having better firepower than Athos, but has it gone under the same level of testing and trials which ATAGS is going through? Talking about Dhanush, which is Indian version of Bofors gun, there is obviously no question about its design, but the quality of production as it's not yet stabilized. Issues have been found in its hydraulics during the fire check of the guns. While the performance of Dhanush was being checked by DRDU, the shell deviated from its path from the middle road and went straight and fell in Maharudrapur village, after which the residents were very scared. Although it was only a shell, it did not contain any kind of gunpowder, but this shell was of 50 kgs. A big scandal was surfaced back in 2017 when CBI had registered an FIR against a Delhi-based firm and some gun carriage factory board officials because they have replaced the parts used in Dhanush, which were supposed to be German with Chinese parts. Not only this, made in China was removed and made in Germany was shown on the product. Indian Army aims to acquire 3,000 to 3,600 artillery guns of different caliber by 2025-2027. However, will it be able to achieve it 
considering the issues with AT, AGS and Dhanush remains the biggest question mark. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.